Hello everyone and good morning. You're probably going to see this at good at good evening. <laughs> I'm recording this on Wednesday, the what is it, the 10th of July in the morning before I go to the gym. This is Andra, the traveling and saving chief. And I decided to record early because I have some things that I have to do later and I was thinking about it and I was like, "Well, okay, you better do this really quickly before you have to leave." So, anyway, here we are it is merry christmas in july so we're gonna do the christmas savings challenges um let's go ahead and count our money i am dressed and ready to go to the gym my hair is all over my head so i do have to fix that <laughs> but i am ready to go and my shoulder is still hurting it's terrible but i'm gonna go ahead and just get on the treadmill throw the incline up and you know still get something you know still get something accomplished so hey when when one thing isn't working we can adapt and overcome and still, you know, do something else. So let's count this money. I did a nice walk instead. We've got 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 5, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So we've got $60 that we're working with. I didn't have a lot of singles to grab because I do have, <laughs> I have so many different challenges, but it's okay. We'll just have to figure it out as we go. So this is our beautiful Christmas binder from Candy at Stuff and Budget. We're going to start with our um, Christmas in July from Donna Power by Creativity. It's the Snow Miser and the Heat Miser. And I had a reminder when I was, I actually had made it. I didn't realize I'd be with her this weekend with Donna. But to uh, watch the, um, the, Chris, the something with no, oh, now I forgot the name of it. But anyway. I, I told them, I don't know this this program that used to come on, I guess, when I was a kid. So I'll have to uh, change that reminder and make sure I still watch that so I know what the heck it's from. <laughs> okay, so we got a four. So um, that means we will have six total. So let's actually just do a five and then take back a one. And then we have six. And this is a freebie if you go to Donna's website. Donna Power by Creativity. Okay, let's put that over to the side and let's get started on our scratch offs. So we did, actually we started here last time. No, but we got all the way through. So we'll just start here again. And these cute little cutouts are from um, Budgeting by Dina US. And last time I think we did the forest, we did. So I'm just going to not look and I'm just going to pick one of these. All right. So this time we're going to do let it snow. And now that I don't live in Michigan, I say let it snow is just fine. <laughs> so when I lived in Michigan, I did not want it to snow. Let me just tell you that. Okay. We got a seven. So let's see. That means we'll need 13 total because we got six last time. So let me and just hurts to reach so i'm going to try to stand up so we've got a 10 here so let's go ahead and grab that we'll put the five back because we need two more singles so we got 10 11 12 and 13 and i'm sorry that i can't reach well it's just what it is at this point let's put that back inside and keep moving this challenge from Elf is from Mischief Managed Budgets. And some people haven't seen Elf. Y'all, it's a classic. So if you have not seen Elf, I want to really recommend that you watch it. Because it is. if you like a comedy, and I'm sorry I'm banging the camera. Ugh, you guys. It's, it's because I'm like leaning on it because it hurts to hold my arm up. I got to use my left hand, y'all. Where's going to do this with my left arm? Okay, so we got a six. But yeah, Elf is like a classic and it's super funny. Um, if you like that, like goofy humor type of stuff, that's how Will Ferrell just, he just brings it in this character. So we're going to need eight total because I got a six. Well, sorry. Yeah, eight total. So we're going to need a five and a one. So five, six, seven, and eight. And that put away did i tell you this was from random mischief managed budgets if i didn't i just told you <laughs> okay oh snap is from candy at stuff and budget 
like I said, as well as the binder. And I'm just gonna keep using my left hand. And I think it's a seven. Yeah, it's a seven. So let me, let me, so now I need nine here. You know what, and we're not gonna do nine. We're gonna do an even 10 because we do not have enough singles for all this. So it's just gonna have an extra dollar in it. We're doing five and 10. And that one is complete. The next one is from Weekly Budgets. And I couldn't decide last time and I still didn't really decide what the heck I was doing because I didn't want to write on it. I'm supposed to laminate these. So what did I put in? I put $5 in. So we're going to do that again. And I need to get that laminated. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it out so I don't forget to put it through the laminator. The next one is from Rami at Budget Paparazzi. A cute little doggy. And I'm grabbing my marker and I'm not even gonna try to write with my, I'm not gonna try to do that because that's probably not gonna go well. Actually, that will be four. Let's get this one to six. And what do we got? We got the two. I'm gonna pull that out and put the five in. And that gets us to six. Yeah. All right. Next up is a roll and save from Budget with Mama Bear. She sent this last year in one of my, um, in an order that I made from her. And I didn't do this one last year, so we're doing it this year. And we got a one. <laughs> and the dice almost fell back behind the table. Oh, it's my arm. I'm gonna bring it over here and write the one. I'm gonna write it in the cocoa glass. Okay, so we got a one. So now I'm gonna take the singles back and put the five in. We can sure use those. And then next is Season's Greetings from Esme Savings Adventure. And I know that someone would have put a comment, I don't remember who it was, that said they liked, um, like, I don't remember exactly what they said, but something to the effect of um, liking the fact that I'm reusing some challenges. Like, I don't see the need to, like, I could spend more money, but because you guys make such amazing things, but like, I don't see the need to spend more money when I have a bunch of challenges that I liked and I can reuse. I just restickered them. But I don't know. I don't know how everybody feels about that. I think some of us just like new things and that's cool. Hey, that is cool. I like new things too, but I'm also trying to do better with spending money. So I got a six, so we should have eight total. Uh, that means I need six more to put in here. And now we're going to go to a scratcher by Kim at Star Budgets. And I saw, I think I saw another Star Budgets channel, but I don't know. I don't know who that is. I think there was like three S's, like Star Budgets with three S's instead of just one. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I'll have to find out. Okay. I scratched an eight. That means I will need 12 total in this one from Kim. And I've got a five in here. Oh, you know what? I must have ran out of singles um, that time as well. So let's do... So that would make it 10 and then 11 and 12. I did go to the chiropractor twice now. He's been doing some traction on my shoulder. Um, I'm just hoping this resolves maybe after the next adjustment. Because if not, I'm going to have to go to the... I'm going to have to make an appointment with my um, primary care and see what we're going to do about this because I'm afraid I'm going to need surgery. I've been dealing with a chronic 
um, this chronic thing for about 10 years. And this is an acute flare up, but um, I know there's some things going on in there that aren't good and some arthritis and all that stuff. So I'm probably going to need to discuss a surgical intervention, which I really don't want to do, but if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it before I retire from the military. <laughs> uh, and I'm sorry, I keep talking about my ailment. It just hurts so bad to do this. Okay. And that's why I'm not even scratching off the full circles. Okay. So I got a four on this one. This one is from Char Charmaine champagne's corner i do have a, a girlfriend named Charmaine. okay so actually we i i must put extra because i ran out of singles because we got 12 last time so now we need 16 so i'm only going to add a dollar okay that actually worked out Alrighty. so now we've got the next one is there's some ho ho ho's in this house and this one's from Danny at Craft Co. Budget. I'm going to go ahead and scratch. Let's scratch opposite of what we did last week with that eight over there. And we got a two, so we'll need 10 total. Let's see what I did last time. Oh, I have I had 10 already. So you know what? This challenge is good to go. So let's keep going. And this one is our... <laughs> VHS stack of savings with all the Christmas movies. And this is from Spooky Budgets. Um, okay, so I scratched a three here. So we're going to go over here. We're on the Muppet Christmas Carol movie. I used to love watching the Muppets. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love. Okay, so we got an eight. Yes, we got an eight. So eight and three is 11. Let's see what I put in here last time. So I put a five. So we'll need six more. Five and six. We'll put that in and that one will be good. And this one. Uh, it just says it's numbers one through ten. It doesn't say how much it is. Then we've got our black Christmas savings from Spooky Budgets. And last time we got a nine and I see I have 10 in there. Let's see what we got this time. We got a five, so we need 14 total. Okay, we got those 10 there. Let's see if we have four, one, two, three, four. We do, so we do have four. So we can make that one right and that is our last one for for now so what i'm gonna do is did i have one that i owed anything to i don't think i did we are good you guys i'm gonna just i'm not gonna push my luck <laughs> we're gonna call it good we made it all the way through we saved some money in the christmas binder oh and i wanted to talk a little bit about my particular Christmas binder, I think I said this before in a different video, but I just want to make sure um, to address like those of us that don't have a lot that we need to save for for Christmas. I don't have my kids are all grown. Um, my family, we don't um, because I'm away. My mom died uh, a few years back. It's just it's just not the same like gathering that we used to do years ago. Um, and we used to buy, you know, a certain level of gifts for one another and do exchanges. I don't have that in my life anymore. Um, my life has, has changed and, and I'm not complaining you guys. I'm just, I'm just sharing. So since that has happened, um, I don't have a lot that I need to say for, I do do an annual Christmas card list and I send out approximately 80 Christmas cards a year. Um, so last year I did send some Christmas cards to some budgeters. And, um, I do plan on doing that again. I just, I love to make a family Christmas card. Um, if I have spent some time with my kids, I'll, I'll add them in there or my family. Other than that, it's me on my adventures. So that's pretty much what I say for Christmas is for, um, if I buy any gifts for people at work, for like people that work for me, I do like to get tokens of appreciation for them. And then like my Christmas card list. So my Christmas binder savings doesn't need to be a lot. And so whatever's extra from what I'll need, I'll just put towards debt. Cause, uh, if you've been watching me, you know, that I've got quite a bit of uh, debt that I'm working through. Um, 
And if you if you don't and you're interested, I do have a debt confession playlist and I've paid over 11,000 uh, towards my debt of almost 50,000 so far. So that is that. It is hump day Wednesday. I hope that you have an amazing day or night whenever you watch this and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.